Welcome to game 20 of the 1968 Bob Gibson replay. Um, we have displayed the statistics through 19 games, um, and uh, they're pretty close. Um, Gibson had a nice performance this uh, last game against Houston. Um, didn't get involved with the decision, went 10 innings, and uh, luckily I think it was the bottom of the 12th that Tim McCarver drove in Dale Maxville uh, for a Cardinal win. Um, but uh, Gibson today will be facing the New York Mets. will be traveling to Bush Stadium. So uh, let's see what we got here. Leading off for the Mets will be Phil Lintz, followed by Larry Stahl and Cleon Jones. We got a 6-5. We got a range play. We got a 4-6, so a range play for the first baseman. Um, today's first baseman is, who do we got there? Bobby Tolan. He's a four. He makes the play. Larry Stahl. Five, two, a possible error. Two, five. It's a G6, so it's the shortstop Maxville. He's an eight. He's a three. He makes the play. Oops. I get mixed up with my games. No, it's an error. So on a G6, on a error, he boots the ball. So just one base. So an error on Maxville. Sometimes I get all my games mixed up here. So Cleon Jones, we got a 1-1, one, one. so Stadium, 6-4, it's a single plus 8, so I think you might be able to stretch that into a double. Okay, so Jones's BR rating is a four. The center fielder is Ron Davis. He's a minus one, so a three. So he leaves it as a single. And let's just Make sure stall. Let's see what he does if he goes first to third. He's a BR rating. Just keep him at second. Okay, so we got first and third with, excuse me, first and second with Ed Charles. Four, two, K chance, nine, minus one's an eight, 12, we go to Charles' card. Six, four, that's a single to left. So second to home would be plus one. So we'll see a stall. He's a three. The left fielder is a zero. Brock. Three, zero. We will go to the throw chart. But you add plus one, so he'll be a four. Six to roll the first die. Check the second die roll. It is a two. 
lead runner thrown out, but the trailing runner's BR, no adjustments, is greater to or equal to the roll than he advances on the throw. So the trail runner is Cleon Jones. He's a four. So the lead runner was thrown out. So here's what it says. So we go to the throw chart. First runner advancement die. It was a 6-2. Check second roll of dice, which was a 2. Roll of 6 on the throw chart. Lead runner thrown out, but if the trailing runner is BR, Jones is a 4, is greater than or equal to the roll, then he advances on the throw. So Brock gets stole at home. Jones goes to third. Two outs, first and third. Art Shamsky. I'm going to get this base running thing. 4-4. Four, four. Possible home run chance. Shamsky is a lefty. 15. He clears that. Now we look at Shamsky versus a right-handed batter. It's a 19. Gibson's only given up two home runs. So 15, he clears it. He's a lefty. So he clears Gibson's card. Now he must go to 1 to 19, and we might have a three run homer. 12, three run homer for Art Shamsky. He's only given up two homers this year. He gave up 11 in 1968. We haven't seen many. So, still got two outs. 4-3, walk chance. 15 minus 4 is 11. It's a 13, move on to the hitter's card. 2-4, fly out to left. But a three-run homer by Art Shamsky. Gives the Mets a 3 0 lead. Today, the Mets have Jim McAndrew as the pitcher. He was 4 7 in 1968 with a 2.28 ERA, so he will be formidable. He's a right handed thrower. 4 2 K chance. Versa right, he's a 12 minus 1. It's an 11. Move to hitter's card. 5 1. Single to left by Brock. Let's see if Brock can get a lead. 9 0. 14. He does not get a lead. Ron Davis, we see his first play so came over in a trade from the Astros. Two three blank hitters card. Three one single to center. Good start for Davis. Minus one Brock. Will he go to third? He's a four. His center field is a plus one, so he's a five. He will, but uh, the runner advancement chart shows. Uh, minus one, so it's a four, but we'll still give it a go. Six three, lead runner thrown out. But if the trailing runner's BR rate is greater than or equal to the to the roll, then he three. We got uh, Davis. He's a BR of a four. So, Brock is thrown out at third. Davis moves to second. Bobby Tolan. A lot of activity so far. 1-5 K chance. First to righty. It's a 9 to 10. 3-1. Ground out to third. Let's 
see what the runner does here. Okay, he stays up there, so Davis stays at second, there's two outs, Roger Maris, a lot to check in his first inning, 2-4, we got the hitter's card, 2-6, fly out to right. Springpool, Harrelson, and McAndrew will be the Mets 5-1 possible hit by pitch. It's a 4, it's a 0, it's a 14, so no hit by pitch. We move on to the where we go first. Go right to the batter's card for the train pool. 6-1, double asterisk 6, it's a F9. Flies out to right. Bud Harrelson. 3-3, possible throwing error. 5-1, G1. Five. Piece of three. Gibson makes the play. McAndrew. Five, six. Possible wild pitch. Nobody's on base. Card two six K chance struck him out thirty seven wow three to nothing we move on McCarver Shannon and Schofield two five batters card. 3-2, fly out the left. Mike Shannon. 5-5, five, five, range play. 5-2, single to the shortstop. Pass the shortstop. Let's see if he can make the play, though. Harrelson's a 4. He makes the play. So, Harrelson takes away a possible single by Shannon. 6-2. We have a switch hitter, so he's batting lefty. We go to the pitcher's, hitter's card, excuse me. 3-4, fly out to right. Gibson will be facing the top of the order today. Excuse me, at this moment for the, uh, get this back in focus here. Where's that focus? One, three, K chance. First of righties and 11, so 15. Hedges card. Three, one, single, pass third.
left-handed hitting right fielder, Larry Stahl. He got on an error the last at bat. 4-6 K chance, 10 versus a righty, minus one at Bush, 13 hitters card, 3-1. Question mark, it's a five, that's a double. They're lighting up Gibson today. So, does Lintz have potential to score? Check it from, so it's a double to left, um, D7, from first to home to minus one, so Lintz is a three, the left fielder is a zero, minus one's a two. I'm going to use my, there's no out, so he, he, I, th I say he's going to hold. Cleon Jones. Let's see if Gibson get out of this. Infield in. Let's go. Four, two, K chance, nine. Minus one's an eight, it's 11. We go to Jones's card. One, one. G3, infield in. Okay, with the infield in, um, minus two to be our rate of runner on third. There's no range play because that would have had the effect. They're going to go to first with it. So, runners hold, Jones grounds out to first, Ed Charles is the batter, he had 15 home runs in 1968, second and third, 5-2, possible error. Two two. Fly out to right. The right fielder is a three. It's a one. That's an error. So on a F9, He drops the ball, runners advance two bases. Maris cannot make the play. Two runs come in. Art Shamsky. One one ballpark five six G three. Let's see if the runner advances there. Runner advances on ball hit to first. So he was there. So we got a runner on third, two outs with Jerry Grody. Three six. He's a righty. Double asterisk. So that's an out. It's a fly out to center. Two more runs for the Mets on the Maris drop ball out in center. See if the Mets, excuse me, the Cardinals can do anything here. Mets have a five nothing lead. Critical error by Maris. 
but the home run by Shamsky, three-run homer, and the Cardinals don't score much. 6-2, righty, double asterisk. That's an out. It's a fly out to right. Gibson. 5-4. That's a possible throwing error. 2-2. Two, two. Ground out to the second baseman. It's a 6. The second baseman is a 9. So that's a throwing error. Runners advance two bases. So Gibson, with the throwing error by the second baseman, Lentz, gets on second base. It's a sloppy game so far, especially here in the third. Lou Brock, 5-4, another throwing error. 5-2, double asterisk 4, which is a G6. It's a 10, the shortstop. Makes the play. Let's see. This Gibson's on second. His BR is a three. If he moves to three. He moves to third. On the play by Harrelson. So we have runner on third, two outs, and Ron Davis. 3-3, three, three, possible K chance. 12, minus one is 11. It's an eight, struck him out. Not too pretty here at Bush today. Crane pool. Get this into focus. Cranepool, Harrelson, and McAndrew. 5-5. Five, five. K chance versus a raise of 5-17. Hitter's card. 3-2. Single pass to first baseman. And not himself today. 1 2 switch, so he's batting lefty. We go to hitter's card. 6 2, double asterisk 5. It's a fly out to left. <coughs> Jim McAndrew. 1 5, he's a righty K plus 37, so it's 47. He strikes him out. Phil Lintz, 3-3, three, three, possible throwing error, 1-1, one, one, G6, shortstop's an 8, it's a 9, he makes the play. Five nothing Mets here, still in the... Bottom of the fourth. Two one K chance versus righty nine fifteen hitters card five three single to right for Tolan. See if he can get a lead on a five. Nothing there. Roger Maris who dropped that ball. Back in the third, 3-3, three, three. K chance, 14, hitter's card, 1-6, fly out to left. Tim McCarver, the hero last game, 1-4, hitter's card, Andrew's not fatigued, 3-4, ground to the third baseman, See if we got a double play. The pivot's a zero. Two, zero, zero. Oh. Oh, yeah. So it's a six. 
I think on a six it's an automatic. There's a six. Change that to be a six automatically. Batter at first. Okay, so he got the batter at first on a six. And Tolan moves to second. So Tolan singles. Maris flies out to left. McCarver grounds out to third. Tolan moves to second on a six. We got Mike Shannon. With a runner on second, two outs. Three six. He's a righty. Possible home run. A 19. And doesn't get it. They could have used that. Wow. Too bad, so that's a fly out. Failed homer. Oh, but now we proceed to a roll on the on the batter's card, so it's not essentially over yet. That would have been nice for the Cardinals. Three five pop out to short. Stahl, Jones, and Charles for the Mets. 2-3 range play. 3-2 fly out to left. Left fielder is Brock. He's a 4. He makes the play. Leon Jones. 1-3. Possible K chance, 9, minus 1 is an 8, 15, no. There, 1, 2, double asterisk 4, he grounds out to short. Ed Charles. One five K plus, so he had 10, so 1 struck him out. Schofield, Maxville, and Gibson for the Cardinals. 3-2, possible wild pitch. Roll again on the pitcher's card. 4-1, because no one was on base. Go to hitter's cards. 3-5, line out to second. Dale Maxville. Three five ballpark six four. That's a single plus eight. So we have the potential of um, getting a double. His BR is a three. Center fielder is a plus one, so it'll be a four. Six. He doesn't make it. Whoa. Okay, assuming he does get a run. So he's thrown out at second on a roll of a six. So Maxwell tries to extend it, gets thrown out by Cleon Jones, trying to get to second base. No luck here for the Cardinals today. 6-1, righty walk chance, 10, nothing there, 1-6, grounds out to third. We move on to the 6. Shamsky, the, who hit the three-run home earlier. Let's get the focus in here. He 
Mets up 5 nothing. 4-4, four, four, another home run chance. Uh-oh. 1 to 16 for a lefty. 15. It clears it. We go to Shamsky again. 1 to 19. It's gone. Another home run for Art Shamsky. Gibson's nemesis. Look at that. We haven't seen much home runs. As I as you saw at the beginning of the uh, the statistics, I mean to this replay he only given up two. Today he gives up two himself just to Shamsky. So is, today is not Gibson's day. Grody. 4-3 walk chance. First to righty 15-1. Walks Grody. Crane pool. 3-1. K chance. 5. Minus 1 to 4-9. We go to crane pool's card. 4-5, ground out to third. So, his double play is a 1, 0. The pivot is a 0, so only a 1 will get a double play. 4, Grody. Let's see if he goes to second, or if it's a fielder's choice. Brody is a three, so it's greater. So he's out of second base on the force. Fielder's choice. Crane pulls on with a fielder's choice. So we have one out. Runner on first for Bud Harrelson. Mets up six nothing. Four four. Another home run chance, but he's a He's a lefty because he switched. So 16, he clears that, eh, but he's a zero. So there's no there's no even chance there. So uh, we move on to the hitter's card. Six, six, pop out to second. And Jim McAndrew. Four, two. K chance, he struck him out. I wonder how many times he struck out in 22 at bats, Jim McAndrew. So I just wanted to check that. He struck out 15 times in 1968. So just curious. Add a little color commentary to this uh, YouTube broadcast. He's pitching a hell of a game, I'll tell you that. Brock. Davis and Tolan up against Jim McAndrews. Throwing a shutout. 4-6. K chance, 12, 8, st struck him out, even with the minus 1, Bush, Ron Davis, 2, 5, blank, hitter's card, 5, 3, fly out the left, Bobby Tone. Four two K chance versus the right. He's a nine nine, but we got a minus one at Bush that makes it an eight. Move on to hitter's card. Two four ground out to short. Three five double asterisk four to 
G6, he grounds out to short. Larry Stahl, 1-1, one, one, ballpark, 5-4, double asterisk 2, he grounds out to second. Four two K chance fifteen nothing there Jones hard six five versus a righty single pass to third baseman Jones is two for four today Ed Charles one one ballpark three five ground out to short. Move on to the bottom of the seventh. Jim McAndrew throwing a shutout here. Maris, McCarver, and Shannon. 2 2 wild pitch. Five one ballpark two four double asterisk one flies out to left. Carver four six K chance versus the right is a four to nine two five a line out to the First baseman, Mike Shannon, 5-2, hitter's card, 2-3, double asterisk 4, he grounds out to short, 5 lefty go to the hitter's card. Two one grounds out to short. Just missed that four four again. Grody. One three. He's not fatigued yet. K seven struck him out. So there's the 34th batter now. Rain pool. 2 4. Walk chance versus a righty. 4 minus 4 to 0 of Bush. So 4 2 grounds out to first. McAndrew is he's approaching fatigue, but he's throwing a shutout, so. I'm doing a heck of a job. Schofield, Maxville, and the hitter spot. 5-4, range play. Nope, 5-4 is a possible throwing error. 5-5, five, five, G-4. It's a 10. He's a 9. He makes the play. Four five hitters card. Four three fly out the right. And we'll get somebody in there for Gibson. He's all done. We'll bring in Orlando Cepeda to hit. 
see if he can do something. <clears throat> okay, we got a 3-4 possible hit by pitch. He's a 10, plus 10 to 27. So Cepeda hit by the pitch. Blue Brock. And remember, McAndrews fatigued. Four, five. The tennis card. Five, one. Single left. Especially left field, so Page is not going to go anywhere. Ron Davis. Not going to go to third, I mean. Um, one, four, single. He's fatigued. Single past the, but we want to keep that shutout going. So an S1. With runner from, let's see, Cepeda from second to home. Would be a one to six. So Cepeda will score. Um, Brock is a four, and plus there's two out, so he'll go to third. So we've got first and third, two outs. We're going to keep McAndrew in there. So pitcher spot's coming up sh shortly for the Mets. One, three, K chance, 20, nothing there. Two, five, single pass to second baseman. Brock will score. A three to six will go to Ron Davis. We'll go to third. He's a four. So we'll go to third. And we'll bring up Roger Maris. We're going to replace McAndrew. Okay, so the Mets will bring in Cal Kuntz to uh, two outs, first and third. See if McCarver can be a hero. Four, five, K chance, 19, nothing there. Against Maris, excuse me. Six two pop out to second baseman. Maris rough day today. Two runs for the Cardinals to make it six to two. Mel Nelson would be pitching for the Cardinals to face Harrelson Koontz and Bill Lentz. Three one ballpark. One three. That's a rare play. All right. All right. Rare play, base is empty. Four six. Slow roller to the shortstop. He possibly bobbles and possibly throws wild to first. Resolve by rolling against the shortstop error rate first for the bobble, then for the throw. So I guess you get two errors potentially. You gotta, he's got to clear both of them. So it's an eight. 18, he makes the play. Let's see if he makes the throw. 13, he does both. So nice play for Maxville. And do we keep Cal Coons in there as a hitter? Or do we bring in a pinch hitter? Yeah, let's bring in Juan Ron Sabota. 
and we'll have Ron Taylor. He'll pitch the final inning. Let's see what Swoboda can do. Two six go to Swoboda's card. Six six single to right for Swoboda. Bill Lintz. Five four. Range play. Four three double asterisk two G six. So we checked the range play of Maxwell. He's a three. He does not make it, so we have a failed range on a G6. That's a single past the shortstop, an S6. So Swoboda, if he's a 5 to 6, will go to third, which he is not. First and second, one out for Larry Stahl. Six five. We go to Stalls card. Five one. Single to left. One out. So we got a plus one for Swoboda. He's a three. So we give him a plus one on a single left. So I'll give him a four. Brox is zero. Let's do the, see what he does. Five. The goal is less than equal ABR than they runners advance. Otherwise he holds, so he holds. So we got bases loaded, one out for Cleon Jones. One, two, hitter's card. Three, two, single to right. Swoboda comes in. Does Lintz on a single to right, the runner advancement chart. He's a plus one. The right fielder is a zero. Lintz is a three. So it's a four. His ABR is a four. Thirty-four. So he advances. Jones with a two RBI. What do we got here? Ed Charles. Fans are leaving Bush. 3-2. That's an out. 2-G-6. Possible double play. Ed Charles. It's a 1. Plus 1's a 2. Nothing on the pivot. It's a 3. Do not make it. Leon Jones is a four. Yeah, he's a four. Okay. Lots of digest here. Let's see. Okay, so Jones is safe at second. Stahl goes to third. 
six to three, two outs, second and third, and the hero, Art Shamsky. Nelson's going to stay in there. Six, five. Hitter's card. Five, four, ground out to first. Two more runs for the Mets. Eight to two. Sloppy game. Um, Ron Taylor will come in to finish out. McCarver, Shannon, and Schofield against the right-hander Ron Taylor. 2-6, hitter's card. 5-5, five, five, double asterisk 5, so he flies out to left. Mike Shannon. 1-1, one, one, K chance, 15. Clears it, 6-3, ground out to 2nd. And Schofield. Let's see what he can do. Six one nothing. Hitter's card. Six five. Double to right. Schofield keeps it alive. Dale Maxville. One one. K chance five eight. Struck him out. End the game. We five seven eight to two Mets Gibson with the loss. He goes to eleven and six. I gotta check the earned runs because they had some errors. But these are all earned because Stahl got thrown out at home. I just got to check on this uh, error by Maris in right field to drop the ball and two runs scored. Yeah, I think that's both unearned. But I'll double check it. Um, so I'll wait to double check that, but he did give up hits. Let's check his hits. Eight hits, two home runs. We'll check the earned runs. Walks. One walk today. K's. Five K's. Tough performance today. Mets were hitting the ball all over the place. Uh, thanks for joining. Um, today is game number 20, and uh, we will see you for game 21. And let's see where they head there. They uh, stay home, and they place the Philadelphia Phillies and pitcher Chris Short. So uh, see you next time. Thanks.